Hi dear students, please welcome to my lecture under unit 1 introduction to social and cultural geography. We are going to discuss about equatorial region with reference to physical cultural environment as major region of the world. The outline of my today's lecture is we will try to understand what is region, major regions of the world, equatorial region, equatorial region with reference to location, climatic conditions, plant life, animal life, human response, conclusion and at the end there will be few references. At the end of this module, students will be able to describe the equatorial forest region and its characteristics. They will be able to learn about the climate, plant life, wildlife and life of the people living in the equatorial region. Before we understand about the equatorial region, first let us try to understand what is a region. Region is a pure geographic term and is a basic unit of geography which means it is an area having homogeneous or similar characteristic features such as topography, climate, soil, plant life, animal life, geology, etc. Now look at this map of subcontinent of India. Now in this you can find different physiographic divisions or different regions. So, if you look at this part, this is the western guards. Adjacent to western guards are the coastal regions or the west coast region. Now, why this is called west coast region? Because here the soil found is same, the climate is same, the culture of the people is same, the language is same and most of the characteristics are same. So, when you find similarity in all these things, we draw a boundary and we call it as a region. So, hence region is nothing but it is an area having homogeneous or similar characteristic features as I have already highlighted to you. The world can be divided into various regions. The major regions of the world include equatorial region, the monsoon region, the grassland region which has got two types of grasslands, the tropical grasslands, the temperate grasslands, the Mediterranean region, the Tiaga region, Tundra region and desert region. Now from this module point of view. So, today we will be discussing about the equatorial region. Equatorial region is located in a band around the equator generally between 10 degrees north and 10 degrees south of the equator. So, we know where the equator is. So, 10 degrees above the equator and 10 degrees below the equator is the area which is known as equatorial region. In terms of geographical expanse, the equatorial region covers about 6 percent of the total geographical space or geographical surface of the earth. Equatorial region is one region which is found in three continents namely Asia, Africa and South America. In Asia, the most prominent countries are Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Papua. Irian Jaya. In Africa, it is Zaire which is basically the Congo Basin and Guinea coast and in South Africa, it consists of Amazon Basin, coastal Colombia, coastal lowlands between Guiana and Brazilian highlands. This map of the world will show us what is equatorial region. So, this red line is the equator and the blue color or shades of blue indicates the countries falling under the equatorial region. Now, let us try to understand what are the climatic conditions found here. We have learnt last in the last semester 
that sun rays fall vertically on the equator and also in the equatorial region. As a result, the climate in the equatorial region is very hot throughout the year. The duration of day and night varies from place to place depending on the season. Normally, winters are having longer nights, summers are having longer days. But if you are on equator or in the equatorial region, duration of day and night will be always 12 hours. Because of excessive heat, equatorial region is characterized by low pressure. The air is also very calm and there is no wind, very important. So there are, there is air, but there is no wind in the equatorial region. The temperature is so high, which results in the high rate of evap evaporation and high rate of evaporation results into heavy rainfall. And normally this rainfall occurs on every day in the afternoon. The type of rainfall equatorial region receives is the conventional rainfall. Let's try to understand the plant life. Due to high temperatures and heavy rainfall, equatorial region has a dense forest known as rainforest, which is evergreen type, which is also known as selvas in Amazon basin. Trees are very, very tall here and many a times they grow 40 to 50 meters and they have a thick canopy. Because there is a thick canopy, sunlight easily cannot penetrate and fall onto the ground. As a result, the undergrowth is absent in the equatorial region. The plant diversity is very rich. Amazon, Congo Basin, are some of the areas which are known for the highest biodiversities in the world. They are also regarded, are regarded as the hotspots of biodiversity. If a country is located in a coastal area, then you will find thick mangrove forest cover. The trees found in the tropical rainforest region are broad leaves and mostly they are hardwood. So because of high temperatures, so trees are hard wood. And if you are in cold areas, the trees are normally very soft. Trees such as mahogany, rosewood, ebony, ironwood, rubber are commercially useful in the trade and commerce. Coffee, chocolate, banana, avocado, sugarcane originally came from plants grown in the tropical forest region which is the equatorial region. Not only the plant life is rich, the animal life is also very rich. You find millions of different animal species here because of the availability of food, water and favorable natural conditions. Equatorial region is a home of tree dwelling animals because of thick canopy. Mosquitoes, butterflies, termites, spiders, ants, flies and birds are very common in this region. Due to thick forest and absence of light on the ground, there are very few ground living animals such as elephants because elephants will not have space to move because the density of trees is very, very thick. Despite of inhospitable conditions, still Equatorial region is inhabited by people, but the population is very sparse. Equatorial region is mostly inhabited by the tribal people. Pygmies of Kango Basin, Semangs of Malaysia, New American Indians of Amazon Basin are the main tribes. Tribes in equatorial region largely depend on gathering, hunting, fishing and shifting agriculture. They lead a traditional life based on prevailing environmental conditions. They use simple weapons like bows, arrows, spears, knives for hunting animals. They eat whatever available in the forest such as fruits, flowers, roots, 
berries, lizards, insects, rats, monkeys, birds, etc. To conclude, equatorial region is highly rich in terms of biodiversity and natural wealth, but due to inaccessibility, the resources are not fully exploited. As a result, the level of economic development is very low in the equatorial region. There is a huge scope for rubber cultivation and coca cultivation. Efforts are being made in Malaysia in other parts very successfully. Equatorial region also houses very important minerals such as copper, diamond, gold, tin, bauxite, etc. They are found in abundance. Now, in 21st century, economic growth is catching up, but mostly along the coastal areas. Just to conclude, equatorial region is a very important and a potential region for the future economic growth. So these are some of the references you can go through to update your further understanding of this subject. Thank you very much.